I'm Miss Dara. We are singing about apples today. Going apple picking, buying apples at the farm stand or the grocery store. Do you like to eat apples? Apple slices, apples dipped in honey, apple pie, apple sauce, apple juice, apple donuts, apple hummus, hot apple cider on a chilly day. How much for the apples? How much for the plums? How much for a bushel full of peaches? You know I'd like to get me some. How much for the green beans? How much for the peas? How much for a peck of ripe tomatoes? I'd like to have a bushel, please. are so good to eat. To have one is a special treat. Red, green, and yellow too. All of them so good for you. I just picked a basket full of apples from the apple trees in the orchard. Did you know apples grow on trees? We're going to pretend that we're planting an apple tree. They take many years to grow. So let's pretend we're holding a little tiny apple seed in our fingers, just like that. Can you do that with me? And put out your other hand. That's going to be the ground. And we'll take our seed and we'll plant it in the ground like this. Once a tiny apple seed was planted in the ground, cover it up. Now, all seeds need rain and sun. So let's make our rain fingers wiggle. Down came the raindrops falling all around. Out came the sun. Can you show me a bright sun in the sky? As bright as bright can be. And that little apple seed grew up to be an apple tree. Can you make your arm grow into a great big apple tree? Spread your branches. Good, it's windy out, I'm wiggling my branches. Let's try that one more time. Shake out your hands, grab a hold of your tiny little apple seed, and here it goes. Once a tiny apple seed was planted in the ground, down came the raindrops falling all around. Out came the sun, as bright as bright can be. And that little apple seed grew up to be an apple tree. Let's add some music to that. I wonder if you can remember some of those words with me. And you can do the motions. Get that apple seed ready and let's plant. Here we go. Once a tiny apple seed was planted in the ground. recognize that song? I wonder if you know it with some different words. Maybe some words about, oh, where is he? I have him here somewhere. He's hiding. About an itsy bitsy spider. Do you know the song about the itsy bitsy spider? 
Can you get your spider fingers out? Let's sing it together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Well, there's a reason we used the music from the Itsy Bitsy Spider song because autumn is almost here and all the spiders are getting busy spinning their webs. They're getting ready for fall. So when you see the apple trees ripe with apples, you know the spiders are busy too. Now, is there a grown up with you? Because we can do a spider tickle. Would you like to call your grown up over? And our tipple goes like this. Your grown up is going to need their pointer finger. And you're going to need your back facing your grown up. And your grown up is going to take your pointer finger and make X's on your back. You ready? And this is crisscross applesauce. Let's try it. Criss cross applesauce. Now take your walking fingers, grown ups, you're going to walk up your little one's back. Spider crawling up your back. Cool breeze blow on the back of their neck. Tight squeeze, give them a hug. And now you've got the shivers. Tickle them all over. Let's try it one more time. Take the palm of your hand, growing ups, and erase all those old tickles off your little one's back. Here we go, make some X's. Criss, cross, applesauce. Spider crawling up your back, cool breeze, tight squeeze, and now you've got those shivers. <laughs> Good job. Have you ever gone apple picking at a farm stand or maybe an orchard? Rows and rows of red, green, and yellow apples waiting for you to pick. See the apple tree so tall, I can hardly wait to fall. When those apples I can pick, fill my basket, eat them quick. See the apple tree so tall, I can hardly wait till fall. Well, we can go to the orchard and maybe your grown-ups can bring a wagon with them and you can sit inside, they can pull you around and as you pick apples, you can put them in the wagon with you. Should we take a ride in our little red wagon? Can you bump up and down with me? We're bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Whoops, you be my darling. Let's get our hammers. Do you want to hammer that wheel back on? Here we go. Mama's gonna fix it with her hammer. Daddy's gonna fix it with his hammer. I'm gonna fix it with my hammer. What? You be my darling. Let's get back in. Here we go. We're bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down. Lots and lots of red, round, ripe apples. You know what? Time for us to eat them. Do you like apples? 
maybe you can help me sing the next song. It's a copycat song. So I'll sing one line, and I would love it if you could echo that line back to me. Shall we try it? And the song goes like this. I like apples, and you sing. I like apples, and then I sing. Nice and sweet, and you sing. Nice and sweet, munchy, crunchy, munchy. Munchy, crunchy, munchy. Good to eat, good to eat. Shall we try it again? I'll sing very softly. I'm hoping you can sing with me. Here we go. I go first. I like apples. sounds like you like apples. I have another little friend over here who also likes apples. And here he is. This is Lowly Worm. And he has just nibbled his way through this round, red, ripe, delicious apple. Nom, 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 nom. Lowly, are you going to share with us? No. Oh, you know what? He probably wants us to pick our own, right? Well, I'm sorry, Lily, but I don't eat apples that have worms in them. Ooh, no. So he's got this one for himself, right? Well, we can pretend we have little worms. Can you wiggle your little pointer finger? That could be our little worm. Lily, you go sit and you can help us with the next song, all right? Want to wiggle around like that? Let's take our pointer finger. We'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in the air. We'll wiggle all around and put it there on your what? on your nose. Here we go. Okay, little worm wiggles all around. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 little finger. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in the air. Wiggle, 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 little finger. Wiggle all around and put it there. Good job. Well, I think we need to keep the trees company in our orchard today. Can you pretend to be an apple tree? Can you stretch your branches out and wiggle your leaves in the breeze? And oh, we're, we've got red, ripe, juicy apples hanging from our branches. And they give us fruit, the apple trees, for our pie. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> Stretch out your arms, little trees. I'm a tree, I'm a tree, and I'm growing very tall. I'm a tree, see my apples way up high. I'm a tree, I'm a tree, and in the early fall, I'll give you fruit for your pie. Yum, yum. Yes, I a story today about an apple farmer. This is Apple Farmer Annie and she grows apple trees. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard full of apple trees. In the fall she picks baskets and baskets of round ripe apples. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts them and organizes them. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. She uses others to make delicious, smooth applesauce. She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples. But she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh at the market. And her truck says, Annie's apples. She loads everything into her truck and drives to the city. Annie, the apple farmer, sets up her stand in the farmer's market. 
Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. By the end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up to go home. Annie is tired but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. And that's the story of Apple Farmer Annie. Did you notice that Annie, the apple farmer, liked to make applesauce with her apples? Have you ever had applesauce? Have you ever made applesauce? It's easy to do. All you do is take an apple, you peel it, take the skin off, you chop it up, don't eat the core and don't eat the seeds, just the apple part that's good to eat. Stick it in a pot, put some water in there, heat it up on the stove, that's the job for the grown up. And as it cooks down, it makes applesauce. Now you could add a little bit of sugar if you want. You could add a little tiny bit of cinnamon or nutmeg or ginger maybe, but you don't have to. Just an apple and water and you've got applesauce. Peel an apple, chop it up, put it in a pot. When you taste it, you will find it's applesauce you've got. Peel an apple, chop it up, put it in a pot. When you taste it, you will find it's applesauce you've got. I have a little apple tree with lots and lots of apples. In fact, there are 10 apples on this tree. Can you count to 10 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's sing about those ten apples on the tree. One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little Farmer Brown is an apple farmer also, and he has an orchard full of green apple trees. And his favorite tree has five green apples on it. Can you hold up five apple fingers? And let's see what happens to those apples. Farmer Brown had five green apples hanging on a tree. Farmer Brown had five green apples hanging on a tree. And he plucked one apple, he ate it hungrily, leaving. He had five, he ate one. How many apples are left? Four green apples are hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had four green apples hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had four green apples hanging on the tree. And he plucked one apple, he ate it hungrily, leaving. He had four, he ate one, there are three green apples are hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had three green apples hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had three green apples hanging on the tree, and he plucked Two green apples are hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had two green apples hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had two green apples hanging on the tree. And he plucked one apple. Show me how he ate it. He ate it hungrily. Mm, delicious. Living had two, ate one. How many are left? One green apple a hanging on the tree. 
Farmer Brown had one green apple hanging on the tree. Farmer Brown had one green apple hanging on the tree. And he plucked that apple. And you know what? He looked at that apple and he thought to himself, I have been eating apples all morning long. I'm actually getting quite full and a bit tired of apples. So you know what he did? He shared that one with me. I got to eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Leaving no green apples are hanging on the tree. Our second story today is called The Apple Pie Tree. It's by Zoe Hall. My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of apple pie. Can you guess what it is? Apples! And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. But in spring, leaves grow on every branch. <gasps> Look, two robins are building a nest in our tree. Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. Just when the flower buds open, baby robins break through the eggshells. Now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. When breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin teach their little birds to fly. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard, but our apple tree is strong and the robins are safe in the branches. Small green apples grow where the blossoms used to be. Soon it is summer. The apples get bigger and bigger. The little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. The branches bend down low. They are covered with big round apples. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples, cut them up, and pile them into a pie shell. Then we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good and it tastes delicious. There's nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. And that's the story of the apple pie tree. There were lots of birds in that apple tree. They made their home their nest in the tree. Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Way down yonder in the apple tree. Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Where, oh, where are all the little birdies? Way down yonder in the apple tree. I have a couple of little birdies right here. I have, what color bird? Yellow, like the yellow apples. And I have a bird here that's red, like the red apples. Did you have your bird puppets handy today? It's all right, you know what? You don't need them because you've got your pointer fingers. Can you hold up two bird pointer fingers and I'll hold up my puppets. We have two little birdies sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. 
Fly away, Jack. Put one finger behind your back. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little birdies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, the other named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Hello. Come back, Paul. Two little birdies way up high in the tree. One named Tweedle, the other named Dee. Fly away, Tweedle. Fly away, Dee. Come back, Tweedle. Uh-oh. Did your Tweedle come back? Mine's not coming back. Where's Tweedle? Tweedle? Tweedle, where are you hiding? What? Oh. Boys and girls, will you help me call Tweedle? Let's see if we can get him out here. Tweedle! Tweedle! Oh, we gotta be loud. Tweedle! Oh, there he is. I'm glad you came home. Come back, D. And there are our birdies ready to fly home to their nest. When I make applesauce or when I bake an apple pie at home, my kitchen smells so good. I wish you could smell it through the video now, right? Mmm, delicious. You know what? We use our what to smell? Our nose. Can you put your finger on your nose? Nose, nose, where's my nose? Now it's time for smelling. Nose, nose, where's my nose? Now it's time for smelling. Well, here's something you can make with your grown-up, and it's not something you have to bake. It's a little craft you can make. It looks kind of yucky. It looks like this. Can you see that? It's called a pomander, and it's made out of an apple. Started out looking like this, ends up looking like that. We don't make it because it's a beautiful thing to look at. We make it because it smells so good. And the way we make it is we take a regular apple and we'll stick it full of cloves. That's a spice, whole cloves. I just stick right in there. You cover the whole thing up. I put it on a plate. I leave it on my kitchen counter. It takes about two weeks and all the juices comes out. The cloves preserve the apple. And in a couple of weeks, it looks like this. Hmm. And you can put it on in a bowl and it scents your room. And you don't have to bake an apple pie all the time. So you can use your nose just smelling a pomander that you may like to make and have at the house. What do I smell in the kitchen? Mmm, it smells so good. What do I smell in the kitchen? Mmm, it smells so good. I smell apple pie, fresh apple pie. Mmm, it smells so good. I smell apple pie, fresh apple pie. Mmm, it smells so good. What do I smell in the orchard? It's only for smelling. We never eat it. It would taste yucky. Now, an apple pie is a whole different thing altogether, but the pomander is just for using our nose. Can you put your finger up in the air? Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air. Tell me, how's the air up there? Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your finger on your nose. That's where the cool wind blows. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your
your finger on your chin. Where's your chin? Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put your finger on your chin. That's where the food slips in. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put your finger on your belly, on your belly. Where's your belly? Your finger on your belly, on your belly. Put your finger on your belly and then watch it shake like jelly. Put your finger on your belly, on your belly. Put your fingers all together, all together. Clap your hands. Your fingers all together, all together. Put your fingers all together. We'll clap for autumn weather. Put your fingers all together, all together. One more time. Can you take your pointer finger and put it up in the air? Way up high in the apple tree. Show me ten fingers. Ten little apples smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came those apples. Rub your tummy. Mmm, they were good. Well, I know each little one of you watching today is the apple of your grown-up's eye. We're going to pretend we're little red, ripe, juicy apples. Somebody just shook our tree and we're gonna do some bouncy, bouncy, bouncing all around the orchard floor. Are you ready to stand up and bounce? Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Apples are bouncing all around. Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Shake that apple tree all fall down. Two big sisters helping their mom. She's gonna turn the oven on. We're gonna rinse those apples clean and make the best apple pie you've ever seen. Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Apples are bouncing all around. Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Shake that apple tree all fall down. Two big brothers helping their dad make the best apple pie they've ever had. Get out the sugar and the cinnamon. We're not gonna stop until we're done. Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Apples are bouncing all around. Apples are bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Shake that apple tree all fall down. And we have one more song before it's time for us to go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, tap your feet. If you're happy and you know it, tap your feet. If you're happy. maybe bake an apple pie or make some applesauce and maybe just to use your nose and smell some of the wonderful things that come out of your kitchen on a cooler almost autumn day. I'll see you next time everybody. Bye-bye.